this is Lisa from Casa de Greenly Art, and I am back with um, my final pride video, number six. Um, and we're going to be doing a, another Amsterdam pearl white base and um, doing kind of just a flow of the pride colors. I'm working on a 12 by 24 canvas, and the colors I will be using are Cranactodone Crimson by Holbein, Carmine by Amsterdam, Grenache by Little Piggy Pigments, Cadmium Red Light Hue by Liquitex, Cadmium Orange by Liquitex, Pearl Tangerine Orange by Arteza, Azo Yellow Deep by Amsterdam. Bumblebee Yellow by Porridge Posse Paints. Pearl Canary Yellow by Arteza. Emerald Green by Amsterdam. Permanent Green and actually Deep by Amsterdam. Pearl Olive Green by Arteza. Thalo Blue by Liquitex. Carolina Blue Shimmer by Porridge Posse, where is it? Porridge Posse Paints. Silver Lake Metallic by Porridge Posse Paints. Dioxanine Purple by Liquitex. Ultramarine Violet by Amsterdam and Metallic Purple by Artist Loft. I will also be using the um, Iridescent Precious Gold by Peveo and a little bit of Titanium White by Amsterdam. I'm gonna go ahead and flood my canvas and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. My um, canvas is flooded with the Pearl um, White are by Arteza and I am going to figure out what my composition is going to be now. And I'm going to do that with um, titanium white, just put a little tiny base of it down so I have a pattern to follow. Okay, we'll see how this works out. <laughs> I'm going to try to do, I'm actually going to try to do like at least two times with the colors and go really light with my puddles on this one. Whoops, got a clog. I don't know how this will work, but we'll give it a shot. And this one's got a clog. Okay. Very tiny puddles this time. Let's, let's hope. Okay, everything is clogging today again. Just my luck. I hope wherever you are is gorgeous and sunny. It has been in the 105 plus here in Vegas the last several days. We're actually gonna drop down, get a cool front and drop down into the 90s starting tomorrow. Very excited about that. Sort of. <laughs> I have a show, um, craft show at Tivoli in um, Summerlin on Saturday. And it's supposed to be, it's a night market, so it runs from 5 to 10. And it's actually supposed to be in the 90s, which will be really nice. Um, but it's supposed to be possibly windy. And they're actually predicting a tiny bit of rain, which doesn't mean a heck of a whole lot here. Um, generally it never happens so we'll see 
I'm not going to hold my breath on that, but I prefer it not being windy because it makes it really hard to uh, keep your tents and everything stable and, you know, your art from flying all over the place, so. I think because I'm doing such tiny puddles, I might be able to actually do this over maybe twice. We'll see. I don't know how this will come out though. Never tried doing such tiny puddles. <laughs> I may end up fast forwarding you guys through this part just because it seems to be taking a while. So after I get this part done, I'll stop the video and then restart it so I can just fast forward through this next bit. Okay, back from the fast forward. I am going to now add the gold. I hope I don't lose that purple here at the end. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of white to each of these puddles to kind of give me a little contrast in them and to create some cells. One last torch and let's put the dryer to it. pretty cool. I've never done it like, oh, I'm almost out of juice here. Oh, let me go refill this and I'll be back. Okay. Ah, now it's working. <laughs> looks really really neat. I'm kind of disappointed that I've lost a little bit here and this didn't get a whole lot going on but that's okay. 
I think it looks really neat. I am going to take you off of the tripod. Ooh, a little bit of spot of something that spilled over there. Okay, I will show you a close up. Okay, here's a close up with the flash on. I think this looks really neat. And with all the pearl background and the metallics, some interesting cells going on there. This should dry really cool. Oh, that green got a little lost, didn't it? I will show you it when it's dry. Here is the dried and resined finished painting. I just love the pearl base. It looks so good. And it didn't eat away as much of the paint as I thought it might. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you are interested in this painting, please email me at casadegreenlyart at gmail.com or if you'd like something of your very own.